Hi, and welcome to the next course in this two-part series on Rhino Inside Revit, managing big facades with Rhino Inside. My name is Oliver Thomas, and I'm a BIM specialist at BIG. And as you can see, I'm recording this from home during the coronavirus pandemic, as everyone at BIG has adapted to working and learning and collaborating remotely. In this course, we'll be taking a deeper dive into how we're using Rhino Inside to manage the generation and development of large complex facades. In the first course, we went over the basics of Rhino Inside and its application to the earlier stages of design to quickly move back and forth between Rhino and Revit. In this course, we'll take a more detailed look at how we can use Rhino Inside in the later stages of design such as SD and DD. We're going to look at how to set up robust workflows and processes to move back and forth between Rhino and Revit, how we can utilize the strength of each platform, for example, using Rhino to quickly explore design directions and options, and using Revit and the power of parametric families to create more detailed models and drawings of the facade. Finally, we'll also look at how, once the model is set up, we can deal with regenerating and updating the facade. We're going to be looking at one of our more recent projects where we first started to test and implement Rhino Inside. I'll first give you a quick overview of the projects before we go into the basics of the entire process where we set up and implemented. At the end of this course, you should have a good understanding of Rhino Inside and how to set up robust workflows from design scripts to generation scripts. And this course should give you the foundations to apply what you've learned into your own projects to help you transition from Rhino into Revit in the more detailed stages of design. So go ahead, hit the enroll button and let's get started.